morning and welcome to the weekly vlog. You have a hair on you. There we go. My job when I get home from work today is to tidy this and to tidy this and to put these up because I want them up now. <laughs> but first, work must happen, which means I must leave the house to go into the cold and wet. Not looking forward to that. But it must happen, so I must go. Goodbye. Well, I had so much planned for my evening, and it's now nine o'clock, and all I have managed to succeed in doing is putting my new lights up, although you can't see it because I have it on. So I will show you them in a minute. But I did my lights, and then Chris came home, and we've just been sat in my room for like the last hour, watching vines, because that's just what we do. And now I'm ridiculously tired, <laughs> and I still need to clean the hamster out. But I've decided that my uh, snowflake fairy lights i'm gonna put here like above my bed can you see can you see like in like a cool zigzaggy pattern but i have nothing to hang them up with right now which has made me sad because i wanted to get all the lights up like at once but i'm just gonna have to go out tomorrow and get some something to stick them up with also i don't know how i'm gonna do it either because i'd use tape but then it will rip the paint off of the wall um so mum suggested to use white tack instead of blue tack, but I don't know how I'm going to do it yet, but it will look really cute when it's done and it will be a really nice background for my videos. Yeah, it will. Yeah, it will. I will show you my lights actually and I'll show you what I've got them with them on my bedside table because I'm really excited about it. So these are the lights. I just love them so much, it's ridiculous. And then with this one, I've got a little, like tea light holder that my mum got me from a garden centre and then a candle which is elderflower scented this is actually I got one really similar to this last year about this time last year at a Christmas fair and it was elderflower and champagne and I haven't been able to find it since and then mum found this one it's the same exactly the same brand but apparently they can't call it elderflower and champagne anymore because obviously champagne is the brand and something happened so now it's just elderflower but it's the same scent so, yay! I should have lit them, really, shouldn't I? Mm, my bad, sorry. And then over this side... I have got my new light. And then a little foxy, which was a birthday present from the girls at work. And then the two copper um, tea light holders again. These were from New Look and came in like a little set. And I've got my Arbonne hand cream um, and Chris's watch, because I need to change the watch strap on it <laughs> at work. Um, and my little radio alarm clock thing which is the only reason I wake up semi happy although family will disagree that I wake up happy because to be honest I'm really not a morning person at all so now I need to work out what I want to do with my old lights they're just currently there in front of the hamster who I need to clean out and tidy up the mess that I made trying to get to the light switch for that one. The hamster is clean, so now I am gonna take my makeup off and go to bed because I'm so tired. And I'm gonna watch an episode of How to Get Away with Murder because season two is now on Netflix. And um, I was obsessed with season one, so I'm really excited to watch season two now. <laughs> Yay. I watched the first episode last night and it was so good, oh my goodness. So I am gonna watch the second episode tonight. I have a really itchy foot. I'm trying to itch it with my other foot because I can't be bothered to bend down right now. I'm gonna sleep so well tonight because of how tidy this is and how tidy that bit is. Ignore that, ignore that. That's not normally there, but how tidy it all is. Is anyone else like that? I sleep so much better when my surroundings are like tidy and organized and I know everything is in its place. <laughs> Message. <laughs> I woke up so late this morning, like I had 25 minutes to get ready for work and leave. Um, so it was a pretty stressful morning and then I was still late because the traffic was awful. Yeah, it's been a pretty stressful morning but now it's my lunch time and, and Zoe went and got me a Costa, Hot Cho uh, Costa, this is definitely Starbucks, Starbucks fudge hot chocolate because she's amazing and I'm surrounded by bad food, look at this. We've got Reversi Percy's, which I've never had before, but are actually really good. And if you don't know what Reversi Percy's are, <laughs> get out! 
so you know they normally have like the pink bit is normally the piggy bit and then this bit is the ears so it's reversed focus on the brevasi percy no anyway they're really good i will eat that one then i've got cheesy bites and we've got um potato chips and mince pies so i'm surrounded by bad food but it's allowed because it's christmas time now and i'm allowed to say that because the christmas music is on at work and so I am full on in Christmas mode already and I don't care and I don't want to be surrounded by any Scrooges this year. I want to really enjoy Christmas because the last two Christmases have been pretty crap to be honest. Like two years ago we moved house on like the 23rd of December. So yeah, Christmas didn't really exist. And then last year was just a really bad Christmas for me personally. Um, so this year I'm like, nope. I'm just going to embrace Christmas and I'm just going to enjoy it and no one is going to be able to ruin it so that is what has been happening but it's my lunchtime now and I can't decide I brought a bagel to work with me with pate and I can't decide if I want to eat that or if I want to go and get sushi I kind of want sushi but it's raining outside so I don't know if I can be bothered to leave but sushi is really good I've gone for my bagel because then I don't have to spend any money and I don't really need to spend money like it's not like I didn't have lunch I have lunch so I'm just gonna be sensible and have my bagel and then maybe get sushi closer to payday <laughs> the interview that I was involved in last week yes um, with my brother is now live on YouTube so I'm gonna link it somewhere here and I'll leave it down below go and give it a watch and a like um, and yeah I hope you enjoy it so we just found this in Daniel's um, toilet. A book all of Weatherspoon's carpets. Um, okay. It's literally just pictures of like carpets in all the different pubs. Cool. <laughs> Great little read while you're doing a number two, hey. Did like one person just go around all of the pubs with the same shoes on and take pictures of the carpet? <laughs> yes. Wow. There's some great par carpets in Weatherspoons. If you want to know what the carpet looks like in the Weatherspoons in Cambridge, there you go. So today, myself and Daniel pretty much spent the whole day watching Jurassic Park and I've loved every second of it. And my hair is so greasy, I could prepare you a whole English breakfast on top of it. Nice. Hello lovies, I've just got home from work. My morning, I was so clumsy. Like, got out of the car and shut my coat in the door. Then I walked into a tree. Oh yes, I walked into a tree. And then I dropped my bus ticket and it's just, it, this morning was just crazy. Am I even really red? Yeah, who walks into a tree? Me. Um, and it wasn't even like, it wasn't, it wasn't like I walked into the like, the actual stump of the tree. I wasn't looking where I was going and I was walking past a car, I looked up and there was like branches and then my hair got stuck in all the branches of the tree. And there was definitely someone behind me that saw, saw it all happen, so that's how my morning went. But the rest of the day was fine. I now need to get some food because I'm so hungry. Oh, and I just had to fill it with petrol and that's like the biggest chore ever in my eyes. I hate filling it with petrol. What to have for dinner? What to have for dinner? I think mum bought some eggs, so maybe I'll have some scrambled egg. Wow. I quite like scrambled egg. Maybe we'll do that. I've just sat here while watching Alice's new um, video and picked all of my nail varnish off. I'm getting so fed up with it, it's really annoying. Like, um, the fact that it just won't stay on while I'm at work because I don't like not having my nails painted, but when I'm at work they just don't stay on and I'm just fed up with like having to keep painting them. It's so annoying. Mmm. I think it might be because they've got quite long now so I'm gonna um, file them down, moisturise them, oil them and then try again at some point but leave it off for a little while I think. So annoying. Um, what was I gonna say? 
I was gonna say something, but I didn't know what I was gonna say. <laughs> Can you hear him? Probably not. Last time I said that, I couldn't hear him when I was editing with headphones. So you probably can't hear him. He's talking very loud. I really need to go and make my dinner because I still haven't made my dinner. I'm, getting, I'm starting to get a bit hangry. Guys, I'm starting to think it's nearly hot water bottle weather, but I don't actually know where my hot water bottle is. Um, I don't actually know where anything is in my wardrobe. <laughs> Look at this. Yeah. I really need to sort through all of this <laughs> um i feel like it's down here somewhere maybe i will have a look now oh, i've got loads of jumpers everywhere i have so many jumpers <gasps> i found them that was way easier than i thought it was going to be i've got two i've got a little i have little ones by the way because big ones annoy me but little ones are just like the perfect size for me so i've got a penguin one which i've had for years and I've got a um, time to snuggle boofle one that Daniel got me for Christmas one year. I can't remember when, but I love both of them. So I'm going to take them out. They've still got water in them. You're not supposed to store water in them, are you, for that long? I feel like that water is probably going to have been in those hot water bottles for about a year. Oopsies. By the way, guys. I've um, never looked so fashionable in my life. Look at this. I look freaking amazing. So I've got my big woolly jumper on. I've got my pyjama top that says, what does it even say? I think it just says Frenchie on it, with a Frenchie. And then <laughs> my fat face pyjama bottoms and my Ugg slippers, which by the way are my babies. I love these slippers. And yeah, I just look. So on trend right now, but I'm so comfortable, so I don't care. <laughs> do you ever have days, I'm sure you do, where you really like your makeup so you don't want to take it off? And your hair, like you really like your hair so you don't want to sleep on it and ruin it. I'm having one of those days, I really quite like my makeup today and my hair has stayed really nice and like big all day. I actually... I French braided it again last night instead of twisting it. I feel like I'm preferring a French braid curl than I am a twist curl. Even though it's kind of a bit cray in the morning and it has to tame a bit. I like the effect, like it stays bigger and curlier all day. So I may start just French braiding it now instead of twisting. I will obviously do my twist sometimes but it sits better at the top as well because sometimes when you twist... Um, you get like a weird kink at the top. So I may just start Frenching it. Also, I feel like a French, this looks way more natural than my twist curls did. Hmm. I'm going to go make a water bottle now because I can't actually feel my fingers or my nose. So while the kettle's boiling for my hot water bottle, I decided that I should probably be organised and pack for tomorrow because I'm going to Daniel's again tomorrow night. But does anybody else have this problem? When you go, when you have bought new clothes and you start wearing them all the time and then they're in the wash and you're like, what the hell did I wear before I had this? Because my favourite jumper is in the wash. We all know which one it is, okay? It's a H&M khaki one and I've lived in it since I bought it. But now I'm like, what did I wear before I had this jumper? Just me? I feel like that's not just going to be me, but now I can't decide what to take with me because I'm like, I just want to wear my jumper. I'm sure I'll find something, but maybe I'll take my roll neck because it's going to be cold again, isn't it? I'm going to take my super dry roll neck, my woolly white one. I like this one and my kettle is just boiled, so I'm now going to make my hot water bottle. I've just taken my makeup off, so now I look so tired but I don't mean for this to sound as mean as it's, as it's already going to sound but I feel like I know I'm ready to like move out hi cat because I'm in a really good mood tonight and I feel like it's because I've come home from work and no one's here so I've just been able to like plod along and do what I need to do without having to make small talk does that sound really mean probably but yeah, I feel like when you know, you know. When you know you need to move out, you know you need to move out. 
I need to move out. Okay, in my opinion, right now, I have like one of the best lunches I've ever had. I've got beans on toast. Mm hmm someone's gonna walk in. And McDonald's chips to dunk in my beanie sauce. <gasps> I'm so excited. And it's such a horrible day outside. It's like pouring it down with rain and it's so windy and it's so cold and this is just pure comfort food. I'm very excited to eat it. And then I'm probably gonna have a lint chocolate because they're there and I can't resist them. <laughs> well, my evening hasn't quite gone to plan today and I'm not really in the best of moods to be completely honest with you. So I think I'm going to have a bubble bath and I've got one or two, I think, episodes of American Horror Story to catch up on. So I think I'm going to watch one or maybe both <laughs> of those. I also, for some reason, really fancy tidying up my um, like shoe bit of my wardrobe. So like sorting out my shoes. I have no idea what's going on with my hair right now. Like, who knows? Um, so I might do that as well, actually. I just feel like I need to keep myself busy. So I'm just really not in a good mood. <laughs> And then I'm probably going to have an early night, although it is 20 to 9 already, so early night is probably not going to happen, to be honest. If I, if I succeed with all my plans, it's not going to be an early night, is it? No. Good morning. Really sorry if you can hear talking in the background. They're getting very excited in the kitchen. Um, it is Friday, so I hope to everyone who has their weekends off, their Friday goes nice and quickly for them so they can enjoy the weekend. Today... I'm going to Daniel's. It's now... I don't know what the time is. Hold up. What is the time? It is 25 to 1. I woke up really late today. I had a bit of a lie-in. And my hair feels really short. don't know why. I think it's just because it, I've just taken the plait out. So it's kind of a bit like... Um, but yeah, today's outfit is this. I've got my little denim skirt on. This is from... Selfridge, I think, which is now closed in Cambridge, which is annoying. And then my super dry roll neck jumper just to keep me cosy. And I was going to wear these, my um, Primark boots. But I've realised that I'm at work tomorrow, so I'm going to need my black boots to go to work. And I can't fit them in my bag, so I'm just going to have to wear my little black ankle boots instead. But that's fine. They still look cute, so all is good. I don't know what our plans are for today, so... I can't tell you what I'm up to because I do not know. But it looks pretty chilly outside, to be honest. Look. Look at all this condensation on the window. <laughs> yeah, it looks pretty chilly. But I might suggest we go for a little walk or something. Because then I can get some nice pictures and stuff. I quite want to, I think, get like some outfit pictures of this outfit. Because it's not the sort of outfit that I normally wear. Like... I'm not going to lie, I don't feel the most confident in it, but I really like it. But I think it's just because I don't feel confident in it because I'm normally in my jeans. And obviously I'm not. <laughs> but I do really like it. I think it's quite a cute little autumn outfit, if it will focus on it. Would you like to focus on it? There you go. Yeah, let me put my actual boots on. To be fair, it would look better with those, but let's put these ones on. Oh, they're done up. Hold on. Let me put my boots on. Hold on. There we go. There we go. Right. So with my little booties on. It does look really cute, I think. But obviously the burgundy ones would look way cuter. But oh well. The black ones it is going to have to be. Unless I take these ones in my car. And then when we go out to take some pictures. I can wear those ones. That is a good idea. Because the ground doesn't look that wet outside. So I feel like I could wear them. I might do that. I might put them in the boot. And then if I decide to wear them. I will wear them. Right. I need to go. I've been watching at Home Alone 2 all morning. While I've been getting ready. <laughs> sorry. Not sorry. But. Yes, I need to go. I need to get all my candles. I've got all my candles lit. <laughs> Two. Also, these boots squeak. I don't know if you can hear them. It's very annoying. <laughs> Done. 
So myself and Daniel are going to be having a binge watching session of Scorpion season one. It's on Netflix if you haven't watched it, it's really good. I've already watched season one and this morning um, I noticed that season two is now available. So I don't mind watching it again because I really liked it. So we're having a binge watching session and we went to Iceland and bought pretty much about a bag of crap. Um, so we have drumstick squidgies because they're amazing. We got the sour version because I love a sour sweet. We got the cheesy biscuit bites because they're addictive and moorish. And also with the amount of sugar, I wanted something a bit savoury. We got a bag of Munster Munch. We got a Terry's chocolate orange. These are a pound in Iceland, by the way, if you ever want a chocolate orange. Um, we got some zingy orange matchsticks. We got a big box of popcorn. And Dan got Pepsi, we got some orange juice, and I got a bottle of water because I wanted to be a bit more sensible. So yeah, I can 100% tell you the result of the end of today is going to be me feeling quite sick. But yeah. Oh, and I really think we should chop in ice more often because all of that only came to £12. I mean, if you go to Tesco's, that's going to cost you like, what, 20 quid, £25? So we need to shop in Iceland more often. Yeah, wish my stomach luck is going to need it. Guys, it's so cold. Look how icy it is this morning. I can't see out of my windscreen. Oh God. Um, I have the icer. We are, we are good. Rachel, I will get to you at some point. <laughs> I've had to come to Tesco's on my way home because mum texted me earlier and she's lost her house keys and she thinks she's lost them at Tesco's. So she's asked me to come to Tesco's on my way home to go and ask. Which means we're going to get home so late. It's already 20 past 7 because it's Saturday, which means that getting home from um, getting back to my car is an absolute nightmare. So hopefully this is going to be nice and quick and I'll go in and they'll either be like, no, nope, and they'll, or they'll be like, yeah, here you go. So I'm really hoping that's how this is going to go. Also, in this light, my eyeshadow just makes me look like I have really, like, bruised eyes. I don't, it's makeup. No luck with the house keys and I'm now very, very cold. I need to put the heating on. It's so cold today, like... <sighs> like you step outside for five minutes and you're shivering. That is my heater that you can hear now. I need to go home. I need to go home and I need to edit the vlog and I need to pick the giveaway winner. <gasps> Exciting! I think I might announce it at the end of this vlog as well actually because it, it closed at seven so it's now 20 past seven. I'm obviously going to pick it tonight, so I might as well. And I was announcing it on Sunday anyway, so it will just be announced in the vlog too. So, good luck if you have entered the giveaway. I will be picking you tonight. Yay! Okay, so it's time to pick the winner of my giveaway. I'm using a website to do it, so hopefully this is going to work. But here we go. Let's see if I can get it to focus on the screen. I might have to turn. Oh, it looks very blue. Let's see if I can turn it down. Probably not going to do much. No, we're not doing anything. Anyway, let's pick a winner. Please focus. There we go. Right. Fingers crossed this works. Randomly pick winner out of 56 comments. So thank you so, so much if you entered the giveaway and good luck. And the winner is Carla Blondie. Well done. I will um, send you a message on Twitter. If you haven't applied, please reply. And I will pick your lipstick and get it posted out to you as soon as possible. Congratulations. Congratulations, Carla. Car I was going to say Cara then. Our names are too similar. Carla, if that is your name, um, for winning the giveaway. If you haven't responded to my Twitter message yet, make sure you go and uh, reply to it because... I want to get your lipstick purchased and posted to you as well as a little pouch as soon as possible. Um, but well done. And I have just finished editing the vlog and it's a bit shorter this week. Um, because, I don't know if you've noticed, but I really tried not to vlog in the car. Because I was becoming really conscious of the fact that my battery's flashing, I need to do this quickly. I was becoming really conscious of the fact that a lot of the time in my vlogs, I was just talking to you from my car. And that's quite boring. So this week, I wanted to do no vlogging in the car. All there is, is from 
today so I think I did quite well um but this is the end of the vlog thank you so much for watching please give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it because that makes me so happy you have no idea when I look at my likes I'm like yay people actually like the vlog and also um leave me a comment in leave me a comment in no leave me a comment below letting me know if you have done anything Christmassy yet because as I said I am so on Christmas this year I'm just embracing everything Christmassy that comes my way so let me know in the comments if you have done anything Christmassy and what it is um make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss next week's vlog and I will see you next week <laughs> goodbye